some men can be so weird and strange to ladies why are some men so obsessed with their exes as a lady can you allow your man to be friends with his ex do you feel comfortable in such a situation what are your thoughts on men having female friendships i think men having female friendships is okay it kind of depends like where these friendships came from but i think being friends with your ex is so pointless like anyone who's friends with all their exes that's <laughs> such a red flag yeah do men staying in touch with their exes or keeping a lot of female friends around prove a point to ladies does it prove that the man is friendly the man knows how to interact and relate with ladies question about my last relationship no, i dated this guy he had a lot of relationships with ex girlfriend but also just like a lot of female friendships but always felt the need to sort of like tout that as like a flex like i have all these platonic female friendships i'm such a great guy let's listen to this interesting story of a lady that had her boyfriend actively stalking his ex what does it mean when your partner is constantly stalking their ex's profile i was sitting next to my boyfriend and he goes to search something up on his instagram and his ex's profile came up first showing he has recently searched her up it out, brother. i've also noticed that she was blocked on his socials when we first started talking as the old photos he was tagged in didn't come up in his tagged however recently they have come up again in his tagged i also wanted to do an activity with him and he told me he didn't want to do that with me because his ex was just recently done it with her new partner so she said is is it normal to be like that for a guy or not Nah, uh, it's not normal. He's a, like that he sounds. Guy. This guy not yeah, saying A nah, class, is he? Not a good report card, is it? So he's a shit lover, shit root, and he's still looking up the ex girlfriend. You know what they say, like in like Love Island and stuff, putting eggs in a basket. Mm. He doesn't have all his eggs in her basket. Not at all. He's if he's got ten eggs, he's got five and five. Around. So he literally refused doing an activity with his girlfriend because his ex just did that with his partner. How does that even sound? Is he in the relationship with the ex and the girlfriend? Because that's what it seems like to me. This guy is obviously sick in the head. Why is she even asking if such a behavior is normal? It's obvious. The writing's on the wall. Something is wrong. You don't even need to ask. Even a blind can see. The podcasters mentioned Love Island and putting all your eggs in one basket and all that. And you said the guy is trying to be smart. He has 10 eggs. For instance, if he has 10 eggs, he's deciding to put five in the new girlfriend's basket and put and put five in the ex's basket. The ex is already in a relationship and he does not want to let go if he's still thinking about the ex what then is he doing with his current girlfriend the problem i have is not with the boy is with the lady that is in the relationship with the boy and asking if this behavior is normal is it that she cannot differentiate between what is normal and what is not normal because i'm shocked i'm confused that is not supposed to be a question from his action you can tell that the guy is obviously selfish and he does not care about the girl the lady needs to leave that situation immediately because it's not saving her let's have a look at some crazy things men do when they are not over their exes listen the craziest things men do when they miss an ex i'm not even gonna cap to you especially if she has you blocked or like you guys ain't communicating yo men will be on some creeping shit like even i in the past have made this mistake i don't do that shit no more because now like i'm in a different place emotionally and mentally like i don't really get affected by shit like that you know what i'm saying it is what it is that's how i look at it but you know, everybody, every guy at a point in time is like that. Like, when you miss a girl so much, bro, you start stalking her shit. Like, you make fake profiles and everything. You creep on her story. You try to figure out if there's a new, who the new guy is she's talking to and everything. And then you have your boys creep on her. All that shit, bro. Like, men, you know, they get like that. And then, like, then you start trying to date girls who are just like her. Like, exactly like her, bro. Like, Yo, I'm being so serious. Men on some weird shit sometimes. I'm not even gonna lie to you. We be on some weirdo shit. Max. He's right. Some men are weird. Here is a question. Do men ever get over their first love? Ladies, you need to hear this. The harsh reality is men never get over their first love. I've been saying this for years and I have yet to be proven wrong. They will compare every girl to their first love. And it's crazy because all my friends say the same thing. As soon as I heard my great grandfather tell me about his first love, there was proof right then and there that men never forget their first love, no matter what. Bro is literally 90 years old. 
The harsh reality is men might hate which they never met them or absolutely cannot stand their first love, but men will never forget them. And one last thing you need to hear, men think about their ex all the time. And another fact, they think about their first love all the time. It could be them just being like, oh, my new girl treat me better than my old girl did. Or they could be like, they will find a way to chase what their first gave them. And one last thing you need to be aware of, if he used to plaster his ex but does not even bother to post you, he knows that he had better. Men always remember their first love. Psychologists say that the intensity and originality of these early romantic experiences make them more to remember. The first love is more than just a person, it's an emotion, a discovery of the self in relation to another. Men's first love theory. Emotional expression. Research suggests that men and women may express and possess emotions differently due to both biological factors and socialization. Men might therefore internalize their feelings about a first love giving those memories more power over time please take a moment to like if you like this video and subscribe support this video by giving it a like and thanks for watching up to this point and keep watching it is he might love you but he's still thinking about his ex and at the end of the day who cares because every guy every man has one girl that they met in their life that is perfect that ideally like physically the way she behaves and that fits a certain description and every guy is always constantly looking for that for sure but that doesn't mean that we're not gonna settle for a little bit less because they could be girl i'm dating and she's hot and she's beautiful and she's loyal but maybe she's not ideally that girl of course i might still think about it but i'm still with you like that happened to me like there was this one girl that was perfect in every way i wasn't even with her for long and she just didn't want me she wanted another guy you know and of course that fucking hurts bro of course that bothers you and of course, that's going to affect how you act in the future with women. That's why even if a guy's not fully giving you everything, that doesn't mean he doesn't love you or care about you. He just has a wall up. Aren't you guys supposed to be nurturing and loving? So understand, you know? Wait, did he just say we should understand because we are supposed to be nurturing and loving? Men are so entitled. So women should always bend over for men all the time because the society said it should be so. Do they ever stop to think about the effect of their actions on women women are always on the receiving end but no those men don't think about it all they do is think about themselves how they feel at that moment it just tells you how selfish they are men are always thinking about themselves all the time men are programmed to think about themselves all the time that's the height of selfishness if you ask me ever i repeat never get involved with a guy who is still involved with his ex if a man is not over his ex there is no place in his heart for you like he doesn't even have to be talking to her it's just the fact like he still thinks of her still like still is bothered by the things she does like if it's clear that he's not over his ex don't just save yourself the trouble and say you ask about their ex and they come up with the answer like oh yeah i don't like her the way i used to like her and i don't think i ever want to like be with her again like if they just don't seem fully over their ex don't even try it'll save you the heartbreak and trust me you're worth way more than that and if the ex is constantly popping back into their life and they're like still like they get bothered by what their ex said and it's crystal clear that they're not over them don't even try especially if you ask them if they're over them and they're like dodging the questions doesn't matter what they tell you it doesn't matter if they tell you oh i like you i see a potential of a relationship blah 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 blah. no matter what they say don't believe them it's jack shit and don't be the type of girl to be like oh i can change him like he'll get over his ex because like i'm the best person or like i'm perfect for him wrong 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 i don't care how cute he is i don't care how dreamy he is does not matter men's hypocrisy and double standard in relationships men let me not say every man most men want their woman to themselves why do you think when a woman cheats the relationship ends because he doesn't want it he, he wants his thing for himself i don't want to see my girl that i'm dating posting her semi nude on instagram on tiktok i am done with you because okay so men can cheat women cannot cheat Please don't get me wrong i'm not saying that women should go out there to cheat or men should cheat i'm not in support of anyone cheating i'm just trying to prove a point here so it's okay for men to cheat it's okay for men to want to own the woman to himself but it's not okay for a woman to want to own a man to herself the society understands when a man cheats but they don't understand when a woman cheats it's like a taboo an abomination you're not supposed to 
and if a man cheats the society expects the woman to understand and still be in the relationship with the man but if the table turns the man cannot take it a man is okay going on social media liking pictures of unclad ladies pictures of scantily dressed ladies it's okay for him to leave comments and encourage those ladies online it's okay for men to go on only fans and support those women and encourage them but those men don't want to have their ladies dressed that way do things like that who are they deceiving it's a hypocrisy for me you come out publicly to speak against women that do that but behind closed doors you patronize them i'm not saying women should dress scantily women should be unclad women should be should dress half naked i'm not in support of that cover up your body if you can if you want to put it out there it's up to you but for me i don't subscribe to that you just can't get jealous when your man is attracted to another woman. Let me explain. The shapes of a woman's body is telling his brain that this creature can support a human child. It is just a biological response that is embedded into all of us to ensure the survival of the human race. The ability to see it this way completely takes the power away from that attraction. As long as they're not taking action on that attraction, then there's no reason for you to have to feel jealousy. Did she just say it's okay for your partner to lost over other women when they are with you? I guess maybe I didn't get her right because I, I felt that was what she said. Are women also allowed to do the same? I actually got a crazy question that like I could not even, I never even thought about this, but do men get attached after sleeping with a woman? This is crazy question that I've never even thought about, right? And my answer to that, is nine times out of ten no nine times out of ten a man is not going to get attached after sleeping with a woman it's just our body just doesn't operate like that women release oxytocin through intimacy right men don't so men can have intercourse with you and not be attached to you there's a reason why like you know use my sleep with a guy and they wonder why is he not like doing what you expect him to chase you whatever it's because men don't get attached through intimacy or intercourse. Men get attached through commitment. If a man is not committed to one woman, he's not going to get attached to her. That's a fact. Do men really get attached to women when they sleep with them? Mm. Over time, research has shown that women easily get attached when they sleep with a man, but men don't easily get attached when they sleep with a woman according to science that explains why a man can be promiscuous a man can sleep with so many women because they don't easily get attached to a woman after sleeping with a woman and here is the reason according to science they said when a woman sleeps with a man she releases some hormones called vasopressin and oxytocin in women they have more of the oxytocin that's the um, love making hormone and she doesn't just release that hormone alone with sex even when she breastfeeds her baby she releases oxytocin so it's a bonding hormone for connection but with men the only time a man releases oxytocin during sex is when he sleeps with a lady that he's in love with this is what articles are saying so according to some men this explains why it's okay for men to go out there and cheat and come back to their family but it's not okay for women to go out there to cheat because if a woman cheats on you it increases the chances of her leaving the marriage or relationship because she will start building or forming the bond with the man she cheated on you with so it's a deal breaker for men men don't usually accept women that cheat back but according to the society women should because of this explanation which makes no sense to me this is research done by men so the one emotion that men need to feel in order to fall in love with you is pain if a guy does not feel pain he will not fall in love with you and that means pain of losing you that means pain of you leaving him you create that pain that means you make him feel a little jealous. That means you, you pull away and you don't text him that much as often. That means you cancel on a date. That means you disappear for a whole day. That means you don't respond for a whole day and then apologize because you had to work. The point is, is that you make him fear f losing you and that kind of pain will make him come back. It's like breaking up with him and then coming back. That kind of stuff makes him fall in love with you. Long before video, follow me on my main YouTube channel, The Toxic Dating Coach. Follow me on Instagram, my personal Instagram, The Lexus P. It's actually scientifically been proven that men fall in love through a hormone called vasopressin. And women fall in love through oxytocin. And oxytocin is released in a woman when we're having sexual intercourse or we're close with them, cuddling. Very intimate. Guess when vasopressin is released for men? 
when they're stressed. So essentially, oh, oh my God, the more you stress your man out, the more he's going to fall in love with you. No wonder my man loves me so much. <laughs> Guys like it when you're mean to them more than when you're nice to them, especially when you're starting to date someone and they're not fully interested in you yet. The worst thing you can literally do is like dote over them. Fall at their feet. What did that bring you? In case you ladies haven't figured it out yet, a lot of men love being in pain, going through trauma, just to be able to have a story to tell a woman. So when it comes to you treating him like trash, he loves it. He's gonna love it so much, it's gonna be his sole fuel and motivation to do the next 100 women dirty. Men is attracted to the disrespect. They're disrespectful human beings. A good man, a real man, a smart man, won't tolerate it. But men that love that abuse, it's all linked back to their childhood. Most of these situations with men always is. The reason that he loved that you treat him like trash is because he's toxic. He's ineligible for a healthy relationship, but you still gonna date him, right? Vasopressin, an overview. Vasopressin is known to regulate blood pressure, blood osmolarity, and blood volume. The effects of vasopressin 1A and vasopressin 2 receptors can be amplified when vasopressin is secreted in excessive amounts, and this condition may be experienced by patients undergoing disease or stress. Oxytocin acting within the brain is essential for, mo for mother-infant bonding, peer bonding, empathy, and sexual behavior in females, whereas Vaxopressin acting centrally reinforces territorial aggression, mate guarding, and pair bonding in males. We know that sex releases bonding chemicals, oxytocin and vasopressin into women and men, and vasopressin helps a man fall in love with you. But men experience a surge of dopamine and vasopressin when dating a woman and enjoying their time together. But vasopressin levels drop after sex. This is a study carried out by scientists in Harvard. According to a team of scientists led by Dr. Helen Fisher at Rutgers, romantic love can be broken down into three categories, lust, attraction, and attachment. Each category is characterized by its own set of hormones stemming from the brain. This is a table. Having a closer look, for someone to get attached, we need oxytocin and vasopressin. By being mean to men will get you loved by men. Have you ever been in a situation where you have one guy in your life who will literally do anything for you? Like to the point where if you were to spread your butt cheeks and fart on his forehead, he would apologize to you for it because he didn't want to offend you. But you're not interested in this guy at all, not even a little bit. You're so unattracted to him, it actually hurts. And so every chance you get, you tell him how much you're unattracted to him, how much you don't want him or desire him, and how little chance he has of getting you to be in a committed, serious relationship with him. Somehow, that only pushes him further to want to be in a relationship with you more. And at the same time, you'll have a guy in your life that you are completely obsessed with. You can't stop thinking about why he doesn't want to text you, why he hasn't called you, why he doesn't want to hang out, why he doesn't compliment you, or he's always busy, he never has time for you, why he doesn't want to be in a relationship with you, or take things to the next level. That's because when you're mean, you come across as confident and secure in yourself, which is why you don't need that man's approval. When you're needy, you come across as insecure and having low self-esteem, which is very unattractive to guys. Men love women who are mean and toxic. In my 26 years of living, mm -hmm. I've come to the conclusion that men have this sick obsession with you when you play hard to get, when you come off as mean, when you don't acknowledge them, act like they're invisible, don't even look their way. And then when you finally give them a chance, and maybe you end up liking that person, your sweet side comes out. Come on, maybe you might even be a little bit vulnerable then they don't like you anymore. Somebody make it make sense. You know what? There is some truth to that. And there's only one particular thing I agree with is men do like women who treat them like shit, but not for the reasons that she may think, right? Men want to smash women who treat them terribly. They see them as an exciting challenge to pursue sexually. No man ever says, wow, she's difficult. She's toxic. Let me put a ring on that and deal with that for the rest of my life. But there are plenty of men out here that I bet would agree who see a difficult woman and think, you know what? I'll probably hit that. 
so guys this is all i have for you in this video let me know your thoughts in the comment section please take a moment to like and subscribe if you're here to do so and i will see you guys in the next one thanks for watching and bye